All right, checking out Tract 11 at the Mule Shoe Project. We're looking west, property on the left side of the county road. Spinning around, um, looking east, property on the right side of the county road. You can see the power directly on the property. It looks like either phone or cable as well, um, running with that power line. Gorgeous tract. Uh, pretty unusual for us to have a, a tract um, not only close to um, public land, which is the Mule Shoe Conservation Area, uh, but this has direct county road frontage. This has power literally on site, uh, including at least one pole directly on the property. So um, in that situation, it's nine, it'd like to be a very minimal cost to, to get power onto the property um, as far as getting um, a meteor and, and whatnot, because there's even a pole already there. So they just put a, a transformer on that existing pole, put a meter on it and you're good to go. So looking essentially uh, westerly, again, property on the left, um, if we go up another few feet, you'd see the Mule Shoe Conservation Area, which is really only about half a mile away. Uh, it's a couple thousand acres of public land uh, that you can use for additional hunting and camping. The Little Niagara River flows right through it. All right, let's check out this property. So, Fine Southerly. And it's a little tough to see from the air, obviously. This is an early spring video, so not all the leaves are out, but, but quite a few of them, which makes it... Uh, a little hard to see the ground. Uh, there's some kind of small creek bed uh, toward the north side, and I think that's what he's looking for there, he or she, whoever's flying the drone. And then the topo map shows as you get back, so from the county road it slopes down, you've got that creek bed, it slopes back up, and there appears to be a fairly large level area, um, maybe 300 feet back into the property. And I think that's what we're looking at right now. We're flying southerly over that level area because then it slopes down again and you can see that valley coming up. So we're essentially flying southerly right down the middle of the property. Windy day, see those trees moving and grooving. All kinds of different species of, of, uh, of tree out here. Mostly hardwood, but there, there are some really cool cedar trees on this property as well that we could see on the aerial video. So now we're looking for uh, I'm sure the little creek bed toward the middle. There it is, off to the right, just saw it. A little glint of water there, might have to rewind it. <laughs> so, uh, seasonal creek bed or wet weather creek bed, but you can check out the, the maps on the listing page. We kind of mapped out where those are, but they essentially are in the, the valley areas on the property. Still flying southerly, uh, rises back up And then um, the southwest corner is probably about the hot, I'm sorry, the southeast corner is probably about the highest area on the property. Looking to the south, um, about a half mile in the distance, you've got the Mule Shoe Conservation Area. As we pan over to the southwest, that meadow you see, the two meadows there in the Mule, the mule Shoe, you can see the Little Niagara River there to the right of the meadows. Uh, just an awesome situation to have uh, not only your, your own private tract with access to the conservation land, the, the public land, uh, but your own private tract with county road frontage, with the electric on site. I mean, that, that just never happens. Uh, we're, we're really, really excited about, uh, about these tracks out here, and, and uh, this one specifically being one of the ones that does have power directly on site. So now we're looking northerly, but we're pretty high up in the air, so we're only seeing kind of the north half of the property. Now we're coming down. I assume we're gonna come back down to about 200 feet and then fly northerly, uh, but we'll see. So if you kind of look at the topo map while you're watching this video, you can tell exactly where we are pretty much <laughs> on the property uh, by just looking at the, the valleys and whatnot. Some big, beautiful timber. It's a, a great mixture of timber out here. I mean, the guys have seen so many different species of, of, uh, of trees. Big sycamore trees down by the creek and sycamore are just gorgeous, just striking trees. They have essentially bright white branches once you get to the upper part. Um, and you, you really only find them, uh, there's a big sycamore right there to, to the left of center right now. So that's probably, and there's another one left of that. They have the lighter color green leaves uh, they they need a good water source, so they tend to grow um, right next to, to creeks or rivers. 
you can see the bright white limbs on the on the sycamore right at the top of the screen. Just really cool trees. And like I like I mentioned a moment ago, they they need a good water source. So when you see a sycamore, um, generally a sign that uh, um, there's there's water right in that particular area. I'm sure we're looking for the creek bed. <laughs> We saw that little glint of, of water, the sun shining off the water on, as we were heading southerly, but um, I don't think the drone operator caught that or they would have gone back and kind of zoomed in on it. Again, they're, they're wet weather creek beds, but they were flowing um, the couple times we've been out there, they've been flowing. I'm not sure what we're looking for there. And just kind of checking out the area. Awesome uh, recreational opportunities as far as hunting and camping and, and hiking and all that good stuff. Of course, fishing and swimming and floating and canoeing in the Little Niagara River. It's a beautiful section of river. It's generally very clear. Flows northeasterly for a few miles into the Lake of the Ozarks. There's some, looks like more sycamore trees. And that's got to be one of the creek beds. Looks like some, some water there. Very cool tract. Um, only about 18 or 20 tracks at the Mule Shoe Project. Uh, so just a small private um, kind of rural, rural development. Not too far out of Camdenton, which is the main city at the Lake of the Ozarks. Um, a lot of other small towns uh, nearby. And then you got Springfield, Missouri, which is uh, a little over an hour, just say an hour and a half uh, to the south or southwest of the property. Springfield has a good airport. Oh, there's a there's water down in there somewhere. You can kind of see it. I don't think we're gonna get a good shot of it in this drone video. Having the power, of course, is is excellent. Um, and in this particular case, it's it's in our minds pretty much ideal because not only is the power there and available but it's at that that north side of the property right by the county road where you wouldn't be building anyway uh, so you don't have a you know a massive power line dissecting your property right down the center which we do see sometimes and that certainly not the end of the world but in this case it's not an issue so looking easterly property on the right excellent tract. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Send us an email. Um, if, it, if this tract is available, you'll see it on the website, uh, but certainly feel free to call us and we can chat about, uh, about any property that's available or, or just about the Ozarks.